I was the city minister for four and a half years in the UK, and I've always been very clear that we have very sound regulation in the UK. The Prudential Regulatory Authority, Sam Woods, does a fantastic job. And we had in the UK a solution uh, lined up, and we were delighted with the outcome. But obviously, I recognise it was very disconcerting for businesses that had large deposits uh, with Silicon Valley Bank. Um, and I'm very pleased with the resolution both in London and obviously in the US as well today. Do you support what the US administration and the Fed did, which was basically bail out the uninsured deposits, which was the majority of the bank, making somewhat of a nonsense of, if you like, guarantee limits? Well, it's not for me to comment on the way that the US uh, regulate their banking system. There are significant differences between the UK and the US. And you know, I respect very much the, the regulators in the US to do what they see as fit. Uh, all I can say is that in the UK, we have a slightly different system and we are very pleased with the outcome. But we're constantly looking at how we can make our regulatory environment uh, more suitable to deal with all eventualities. But I think after the crisis in 2008, we had significant reforms and they've stood the test of time. But there's always more that we should be looking at and we'll nev never complacent. The Swiss regulators on Credit Suisse are uh, having to defend their decision to, if you will, protect uh, equity. Several people have basically said that if this was done in their jurisdiction, they wouldn't support it. The bondholders, um, in, in this case, wiped out and uh, somewhat surprisingly. Would you have done the same thing? I think what happened in Switzerland is reflects a, a, their approach and a, a different set of circumstances. Um, and, uh, you know, they'll be for them to account for the outcomes and the implications for the way the market functions. Except in global markets, mm. you sort of rely on a one size fits all, at least in terms of regulatory framework. That's the whole point of Basel. Uh, and, and I do wonder. You know, now 81 bonds holders around the world in different jurisdictions will yeah. be saying, will we be treated like the Swiss or like the British or like the Americans? A, a level of confusion, an unwelcome level has been introduced. Well, I don't quite accept that. I think that we have international institutions like uh, IOSCO, the Financial Stability Board, which the UK and US and other jurisdictions uh, very much participate in. The, the implementation of uh, Basel will differ slightly in, di in different ways in different jurisdictions. What must happen, though, is there must be maximum co cooperation between regulators, and we've seen that happen th throughout these recent challenges, as we did previously. I think that's to be welcomed, and obviously lessons need to be learned. You must have been relieved that the Bank of England basically now says it doesn't even see a technical recession in the UK. Yes. But that shouldn't mask the fact that growth is just about zero. Rates mm. went up again. And I, I wonder how much more pain is still to come. Mm. Well, I do welcome the fact that we uh, don't face a recession in the UK, but I don't, uh, I'm not complacent again about the challenges we face in terms of getting growth going. And that's why the budget just two weeks ago in the UK was designed on creating a platform for investment. We've now got world leading uh, expensing of capital investment uh, worth uh, 27 billion pounds. And I, I take on the challenge to beat the forecasts uh, as we have done since what, uh, what happened at the autumn statement. And growth is where we need to be going for in the UK. We learned in the ill-fated budget last year, mini budget, whatever you want to call mini it, budget, yeah. that, there are, that there are dark corners mm. in the financial world. In this case, it was pension funds that suddenly mm. sort of erupt into problems. We've learned this year SVB, higher interest rates and that. Mm. So we always know that there's a that there's a potential for an eruption somewhere. But yeah. I thought 2008 was and the post regulation was designed to prevent these sort of things. How worried are you that we have much more work to do? No economy is going to remain exactly where it was 15 years ago. There'll be new challenges 
and uh, new opportunities. What we've got to do is be vigilant, to step up to the mark, and as we s saw with SVB, make sure that we've got the right frameworks in place to find solutions when those difficulties occur. We won't always be able to anticipate where they come from. The uh, LDI matter that you referenced uh, last autumn you know, was stress tested, but it hadn't been anticipated you could get to that level of stress, and there'll be lessons to be learned from that as well.